nationwide boycotts of companies that don't believe in Republican and conservative principles. We're not going to buy their product if they're not going to buy our policy, if they're not going to respect us. We're not going to do it. Watch how quickly these companies will change if we do this, and we're going to boycott the media that doesn't treat us fairly. Okay, so uh, at the risk of potentially boring you, at the risk of potentially making the same point over and over again, uh, is, cult is cancel culture an issue in America? Is the idea that you expect everyone to do exactly what you want, to say exactly what you want, to agree with everything you agree with, and if not, you will attempt to destroy them. Is that or is that not out of control? Because what Trump was just saying there is that if a business doesn't buy our policies, if they don't respect us, the most vague thing you can say, then we're going to boycott those companies. We are gonna try to put them out of business. And he says later on in that little address that there are more of us than there are of them. Let's use our weight to drive them out of business. Now, I personally believe that if you want to boycott whatever business you want, that's on you. If you believe that a business stands for something that you think is wrong, if perhaps their business practices, their labor practices, their environmental practices are negative in some way or don't reflect on your values, you are perfectly free to not use that business, not purchase their products. But you cannot do that and then claim that cancel culture is a massive problem. What Trump is saying there is that these businesses have politics that is incorrect and they will not abide by it anymore. And that is the issue that I have been trying to push back on, mostly in a futile fashion for literally years now at this point. Trying to get people to not accept the insane framing that happens, whether it's that political correctness is a problem, that cancel culture is a problem. Some people, maybe because they believe it's pragmatic, maybe they're just trying to be understanding or trying to present themselves as independent thinkers, have gone along with these narratives. The most recent one with cancel culture, all the way back into the 90s with political correctness, never seeming to understand or care how biased these narratives are. Because if you can claim that cancel culture is one of the biggest problems facing America, and then tell Republicans across the country to not purchase the services or listen to any media that doesn't, in a vague sense, respect you as a conservative, then you don't have the position on cancel culture that you claim that you do. Or you have some position, but you don't want to be clear about exactly what it is. I will be clear for them. Republicans are allowed to destroy things they don't agree with. Leftists should shut the hell up. I almost swore there, should shut the hell up. You are not supposed to organize. You are not supposed to engage in boycotts. You are not supposed to care about the ethics of the businesses that you support or choose not to. But for Republicans, it's great. It's the best thing. Now, as one little bonus, I want to play an incredibly short little video that it's only a few seconds long, but I think it says so much. You should save America's suburbs from Biden's CRT inspired housing agenda. What's that mean? The CRT inspired housing agenda is threatening our suburbs. You shouldn't allow their CRT thing to harm your suburbs. What do you think he means there? Do I need to make it clear? I think there's some people he doesn't want moving into your neighborhood. Um, but he doesn't need to be clear because he knows the audience knows exactly what he means and they already love it. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.